Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for Classic and welcome to Ben Chart. So for today what I do have in it is uh, Choir Obscure Expedition 33. So I have been playing a little bit of uh, this game at the moment, uh, so I'm going to show you my recommended settings for 1080p for my RX 6700XT. So, if you are actually playing this game, this is my recommended setting for 1080p. It is essentially play the game at high settings and just use textures on Epic since this game doesn't have uh, a very high consumption of VRAM and use TSR to 70%. So, TSR on 70%, what it does really mean is that you will be upscaling from around uh, 750p, so it's slightly above than 720p, okay? It's when 720p, yeah? And the experience that I get with this, it is essentially to play above 60 frames per second. Keep in mind that this is uh, kind of the first uh, playable area, not the playable, but the first playable area since the the initiation of the expedition, because that is kind of a very nice prologue. And that prologue, it seems to be even more demanding than this initial sequence. So, despite I'm having a year uh, frame rates above than 60 for the most part, uh, that prologue sequence, you can expect the game to drop below 60 frames per second to 55 or 56, but it's mostly just during the conversations. So, the game just runs above 60, essentially. I'm not really sure if it stays that way uh, throughout the rest of the game, but I'm going to assume that, uh, yeah. Uh, I also think that we are having in here a very slight bottleneck, thanks to the Ryzen 5 3600 X that I have. So if you have a um, better CPU, you might have uh, a little bit of a couple of frames uh, better than I do, like 3 to 5 frames per second. It depends on the occasions, alright? So, yeah, there's that. So, what can I tell about Quare Obscure Expedition 33? So, it seems to uh, be a turn-based combat game uh, that uh, feels to be feeding some of the combat from Persona or Shin Megami Tensei. Uh, the only difference, uh, mostly the way that I see it, is that uh, despite it is a turn-based combat, um, you have the possibility to dodge attacks, which is something that apparently I'm not very good at, or just parry attacks. So you have kind of these um, key to ways sometimes. So when you do parry or dodge, you really need to time those parries or dodge like it is Dark Souls. So it's a turn based game, but with the quirk of uh, you need to dodge or you need to block at the right time, and that just uh, can prevent you from taking damage but also to do uh, a kind of uh, an attack after the blocking. There is a name for that, uh, I just forgot. Um, but after that, it's mostly just the, the type of Persona combats. I'm not really sure about uh, the gameplay itself. It seems for now very linear. Um, so I'm not really sure if it does change to a more open area or just other areas or stuff like that. So I don't really know. What I do know is that 1080p with TSR at 70% does provide you an experience above 60 for the most part, and that's about it. So to no surprise, uh, this game uses Unreal Engine 5. Uh, so far, the traversal stuttering have been kept to a minimum, so it's pretty much very smooth in my opinion. Uh, that is just some small shader compilation issues at the first or second minute of the game and then it never appears ever again and that's really a good thing it's not perfect by any means but uh, it's uh, miles away better than for example uh, oblivion remastered all right so that's what you should actually know so now, now that you saw my recommended settings for 1080p, I also, as usual, have other settings that I decided to try out. So I also tried out the game with 1080p high settings, but uh, instead of having TSR at 70%, I decided to try at native. And I also tried the game maxed out, which is the epic setting. So all I have to say is that at 1080p high with TSR on native, 
you can still get above uh, 60 frames per second in many many occasions but it does drop below than 60 so it might be within your uh, uh, variable refresh rate screen so if that happens you can go with 1080p tsr native and if you want to stick with the 30 frames per second experience i do recommend you to stick up with 1080p maximum settings in there all right so that's what you uh, should actually know about that. I also tried off the record in here 1080p median settings with uh, TSR also at 70% just like the i settings but at median and uh, the performance was mostly the same as the 1080p high because I was having a bottleneck so you can have a higher performance than high settings by reducing to median but you need to have a better CPU than I have, basically. So we are already here in 1440p and uh, my recommended settings for 1440p it is to play at uh, median settings and use TSR at 60%. So what does this really mean? It means that I'm upscaling from 864p, so it's nearly 900p upscaled to 1440p and using median settings. One of the things that I immediately noticed when using median settings is that uh, the global illumination it's a little bit weird. So there is a, a cave moment in here uh, where you access the cave where it does look just different than on the previous eye settings at NTP. So the cave that I'm mentioning it's this cave. It seems to be not as dark it seems that probably a woman is either not available in here um, or it the the quality it is just different when using median settings other things that i did immediately notice too is that the draw distance of the grass it is uh, reduced compared to the eye settings uh, the rest of the stuff uh, yeah there's probably a difference in shadows and stuff like that but uh, come on i didn't notice anything Keep in mind that all the tests that I did conduct in this video was um, was having uh, textures on Epic. I mean maximum in here because we have the VRAM to spare. So I always use textures on maximum for all the settings. Even including this one which I'm using median settings in here. But still textures are set to Epic because we have of course enough VRAM. And so, just like 1080p medians, uh, I mean, just like 1080p high settings, the 1440p median settings with TSR at 60% does provide an experience above 60. So this is my, that's why I'm, this is my recommended settings. All right, and as uh, the previous setting, um, you might have in here a slight bottleneck. So as you can see in 1440p median, the draw distance of the grass is more visible than on high. But essentially, it is mostly just that. So, this monster in here, for some reason, consumes a little bit more frames. I think it is related with the scenario. But even so, our performance it is above 60. Alright? So, I think uh, with this, I'm going to show you other settings that I did try out at 1440p. Alright, so other settings that I did try out. I also tried out uh, 1440p with TSR at 70% which is, let me just translate this to you, 70% of uh, 1440p, it's pretty much 1000p, or 1080p, okay? Uh, so it's under 1080p, but upscaled to 1440p in here. And I have also uh, 1440p uh, high settings, the same settings as the other test, but TSR at native. And so, just like 1080p in here, uh, if you go with 1440p high with TSR at 70%, you can have an enjoyable experience if you have a variable refresh rate screen. Uh, although, if you go with 1440p on high settings using TSR on native, uh, you can just lock the game to 30 frames per second. I also tried off the record 1440p with maximum settings and it was just dropping under than 30 frames per second and that's the reason why you are actually not seeing that in here so i think now it's time to move on to so my okay, last my resolution, recommended settings is it is okay in here. median and i'm using tsr at 50 percent so what does this mean again it's essentially upscaling from 1080p to 4k while using the median settings 
all right so the performance that i have in here it is pretty good it's not 60 all right but i don't think it is also within the variable refresh rate screen so uh, i'm not really sure if this is the best approach you might tweak a little bit your tsr to 60 or 55 or 65 whatever uh, feels better for you but uh, this is not a good 60 frames per second mock because it's not mocking there but it's also far away from being a 30 frames per second and also i'm not i don't know if it is uh, enough for a variable refresh rate screen but yeah i'm assuming that it should be enough given that all these frame rates have been above 50 for the most part uh, so if you have a variable refresh rate screen with 4k at median with tsr at 50 percent you might get away with it or uh, if you just want to have an average of 60 and you don't care about uh, uh, the drops that you have below 60, then 4K median settings with TSR at 50%. I think it's just entirely fine for you with no issues, but a variable refresh rate screen, it is recommended. All right, so that's really my point of view. So I'm just going to jump immediately to one of the other mobsters which i said that it, uh, yeah no maybe i'll just go to the draw distance moment so here it is um median settings you can actually see a lot of drawing i'm just curious with the frame rate that i'm going to get as soon as this fight starts uh, to see if it fits inside the most variable refresh rate screens uh, it does. It's above 50. Oh my god, no. It's 47. So it depends a lot on your monitor, but assuming that you have a higher quality one, um, variable refresh rate screens with free sync will be very good if you intend to play at uh, 4K median settings with 50% uh, resolution scaling. Alright, so as usual, I also tried other different settings at 4K. So, I did try 4K with TSR at 35% and you might be thinking, what the hell? Uh, that's essentially, as far as I'm aware, it's essentially upscaling from near 720p, alright, it's slightly above, um, to 4K. So this is uh, kind of the ultra performance uh, mode from TSR or FSR. And with this, uh, using both settings, I do get a 60 frames per second experience. I do get a above 60, so in case you want to play above 60 with 4K resolution, this is my recommended setting f for you to go. But obviously the downgrade is huge, especially when it comes to draw distance of the grass in this moment. It's very visible that there is a lot of popping. Although, if you want to walk to 30 frames per second, my recommendation it is uh, probably for you to go with 4K high with TSR at 60 frames per second. What I would recommend is if it is if this drops a little bit below or something, just a, just a TSR to your taste. So I guess that's all that I want to talk about. Claire Obscure's uh, Expedition 33 performance. Hope you did enjoy the video and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye.